This is the Lexus LS 600 HL. Now what the heck does that mean? Well, basically, this is the hybrid version of the long wheelbase Lexus LS luxury sedan. Now, last year on driving television, we test drove the base model, the LS 460, and you can see that review at our website. The LS 600H is easy to spot. The headlights are LED, the first of their kind in the world. There's distinctive badging on the car, including a hybrid badge. A car like this starts at $132,000, but this car is equipped with the premium executive package. What that means is I don't want to drive, I want to be driven. You see, this is the seat to be in. This is the seat for the executive that is chauffeur driven and needs to be pampered. You see that enormous amount of legroom? Well, it gets even better. Have a look at this. You push a button and the seat in the front slides all the way forward and an ottoman pops out as this seat reclines. Absolutely fantastic. All right, that's not all. Put the sunshade up. Don't want any bright light coming in. Get the DVD player set to go here. Had a busy day at the office counting all that money. Well, all you need now is the Shiatsu programmable massaging chair and put it into action. Now we're set to go. There's even a pop-up center table if I need to jot something down. But no, I'm happy to be pampered. Oh, by the way, this executive package is almost $27,000. Now I've decided that I'm going to do the rest of the review as a voiceover so I can fully appreciate the luxurious ride back here. You understand, don't you, chauffeur? Yes, sir. The LS 600 HL has a 5-liter V8 working with a hybrid system to put power down to all four wheels. That's right, this is an all-wheel drive car. Like all other Lexus hybrids, the LS uses a continuously variable transmission, not the slick 8-speed auto found in the regular gasoline version. The reason this car is called a 600 is because it delivers the type of power found in a V12. The gasoline engine and two electric motors put out 438 horsepower and 385 pound-feet of torque. The hybrid system helps to improve what's already a wonderfully smooth car. Since there's just one gear and the electronic motors are so smooth, they all work together to really help launch this big car with a swoosh. At its steady speeds, this V8 is running at such low revs, the driver can barely tell the engine's running. <sighs> Look at him back there. <laughs> I think he fell asleep. You know what? There are some other really slick features about this Lexus, so while Zach is sleeping, I'll tell you about them. You've probably seen those TV ads featuring the Lexus self-parking system. We did a short segment on that system, so to see a demonstration, you can go to our website. The executive package also includes some remarkable safety features. The advanced pre-collision system has near-infrared cameras on the steering column that maps the driver's face. If the driver's head is turned away from the road while the front cameras detect an obstacle, an audible alarm goes off and the brakes are gently applied. The seat belts are pre-tensioned, the brake assist system is put into standby mode, the suspension system switches to sport mode for optimum driving dynamics, and emergency steering assist is triggered. This is all very cool stuff, and it takes the Volvo system we featured here to an all new level. The LS600H has a few different settings that gives the car a few different driving styles. The suspension is active and adapts to road surfaces, but if the driver chooses, they can opt for the sport setting for more road feel or switch to comfort. You really can tell the difference, and I guess we'll keep it on comfort for old Zach back there. There are even transmission settings to switch to more power, regular hybrid, or snow mode. What's amazing is how agile this big car is. You throw it around and it really feels planted. It's a big improvement over some of the previous versions of the LS where the handling was a little bit vague. Good job, Lexus. I know this is going to be hard to swallow, but this car is a deal. Even with the executive package, it works out to $158,000. But a BMW 760Li with a 438 horsepower V12 is $174,500. And an S600 from Mercedes is $183,000. 
Now you do lose some trunk space because of the battery pack, but that's a trade-off in fuel savings. This big heavy car is rated at only 10.6 liters per 100 kilometers or 30 miles per gallon in the city and 9.1 liters and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. That's remarkable. Okay, the camera crew and I decided to play a little joke on Zach, the old warm water trick. Zach, Zach, you gotta go. Uh, Zach, uh, you gotta oh, go. Oh man, Lacey, you gotta take over because I gotta go. Well, you know what? When he comes back, I think it's my turn to go for a ride. Want to buy a new car but can't decide? Go to driving.ca and do your own research by using the comparison tool.